I mean, I'm sure if we went around the room, there's people, you know, that have jobs and duties and things like that. They probably wake up some days and say, I don't feel like doing this today. You know, I don't feel like going to work today. They probably feel that. In fact, they might feel that more often than not, you know. I mean, I imagine a lot of people that have, you know, some rough jobs, that's probably how they feel every day. You know, the, the, the garbage man. I don't know. I'm not disparaging garbage men. You know, I've, I've known some good garbage men in my day. You know, it's a, it's a, I'm glad somebody's doing it. You know what I mean? But do you think the garbage guy is just, just, just raring to go first thing in the morning to go pick up trash and drive around in a smelly truck and later gets to go out to a dump? You know, it's not, I've worked around dumps and things like that. It's not exactly something you wake up in the morning eager to do, but he does it, right? And then, you know, and I, and I always, I don't want to go off with too many rabbit trails, but it's just, that's why I hate this stupid philosophy that some people have. Just do what you love. You know, just whatever, whatever you love is what you need to do in life. If you don't enjoy doing something, then don't do it. Just go find your passion. And look, it's great if you can find a job that keeps you interested and keeps you motivated and, and you know, keeps your attention. You know, that's kind of why I went into locksmithing. I tried a lot of different things. And I was going, well, I'm going to work in trades. I went to locksmithing because it's the least, there's an aspect of, you know, having to figure things out. It's a puzzle kind of, so on and so forth. You know, it kept my interest. It was different. It wasn't just the same thing over and over. I get it. But look, it wasn't my passion in life. You know, it wasn't like my dream, boyhood dream. Every boy wants to be an astronaut or a firefighter or whatever. And now you could do those things, right? But this whole philosophy, just, oh, do whatever you love, you know. Well, if that, if every, think about if everybody adopted that philosophy. Think about how many jobs would go undone. Dishes would be piling up in restaurants. Garbage, garbage would be piling up on the streets. You know, sewers would be getting backed up. Lights would be getting turned off. Power lines would be falling up. Everyone just said, well, I don't love this. I'm going to go do something I love. You know, I'm going to go be a full-time, you know, video game streamer. Because <laughs> that's my love, you know. That's my passion. Let's think about that. I mean, if everyone had that attitude, it's like, I, you know, and I think it was like some professional jiu-jitsu player that I heard say that. Some guy's like, you should just do what you love. It's like easy for you to say. You know, you've been, you've been physically gifted and have developed a skill where you can just go wrestle for a living, you know, or like a professional athlete. You're getting paid to go play a game, you know, that, that children play. <laughs> that, that's your big call. That's easy for you to say when that's what you're doing, you know, but you don't hear the garbage man saying that. You don't see the, you don't see the plumber or the electrician saying, follow your dreams. You know what they're saying? Get to work and work hard. Because the real value in work is not the work itself, it's what it provides. It's the self-worth that we get from it, of knowing that we're hardworking people, of people who are doing what is our duty to do, that we're fulfilling God's commandment to work by the sweat of our face and to eat bread. 